Hallelujah. But in the third verse, it said, This man, Christ Jesus, is more worthy. Hallelujah. Is more worthy of more glory than Moses. Inasmuch as he who hath built the house hath more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. Hallelujah. For Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant. As a servant, he was faithful. As a servant, he was faithful. He was faithful in his duties as a servant. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was faithful as a servant. He serves. He serves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He serves. He serves. And God says he is faithful. But Christ as a son yes. of his own house. Oh yes. Yeah. Whose house yeah. are we? Yeah. Moses served in Pharaoh's house and he serves in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Right. But now Christ the son. Yeah. He served in his son. He is the apostle. He is our high priest of
All those who are zero to under 99, there is something serious happening outside the world there. And Christ is our example, and we have to follow our example. Yes. Hallelujah. He is our model, he is our copy, he is our pattern. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he is our sample. Yes. And we need to follow that. Yes. I have something here that I'm going to read. Because you know what? It strikes my eyes and my heart and my spirit when I heard this thing. And I, 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 I purposely brought it here tonight. I purposely brought it here tonight. When we look at our young people, those who are not yet rich, those who are still out there, when I said not yet rich, I mean those who are not yet saved. And sometimes we pass them by and we don't know what they are going through. We don't know the issues that they have. They have issues that is only God can help them. They have issues that they cannot share with their parents. They have issues that some of them can't share with their friends. They have issues, all kinds of issues. And those of you who are saved, that's why you are saved and are in the house that you can help them. Yes, I realize I'm talking. I'm talking. 
11 and 12 are on the pier. Mm. 12 year old girls have an abortion every year. There's a little eight year old girl who's on the school and she asks her teacher who made sex. And the teacher says, God. And she said, well, if it's God, why don't we talk about it? Hmm? If God makes it, why don't we talk about it? There is over 184,000 abortions. 189 abortions last year. 63,319 women who have previously ended a pregnancy. Mm. Almost 18,000 abortions are carried out on girls under 18, including more than 1,000 on girls 14 and under. Tell me something, church. You don't think it's time for us to stand up in this place and bow? Mm. Abortion. You know in that 189,100, you know how many prime ministers is in that? You know how many evangelists is in that? You know how many pastors are in that? You know how many government members are in that? You know how many doctors and nurses are in that? You know how many preachers are in that? If my Somebody said, you have power. Just have it. 
because there is power in prayer. And the Lord has invested
thing of wrong. Wrong. I remember when Hussein when Holt running. I know he was hearing me. I'm sure he could hear me. But as a countryman, I stood up in my living room.
young man, how am I gonna make it? Yeah. With all these fears and things around in life, how am I gonna make it? And let that man experience because he has been through it too. Yeah. All that woman experience, yeah. tell us how you get over. Right. Hallelujah. 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 As a young person, I remember when I got saved as a young person. I have a boyfriend. Yes, I have my boyfriend. You see, I know what is out there. I have a boyfriend, I have a baby. Have a baby. And I think God allowed me to go through some things so I can empathize yes. with people. Yes. Yes. If you have not been there, you don't know what it is. Yes. If you have not been there, yes. you don't know what it is. Yes. To be there, you can't relate to a person. You must get us to your nose on people. Yes. Everywhere I see a young girl and she's in a problem, I try to help her. Yes. Or a young boy, I try to help her. Yes. My house when I was like a, 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 an aid house, let me call those houses where everybody comes. And they thought I was a politician in the community. <laughs> because everybody come to my house, I took them in. Also that I should take him, they come in. But you know what? When I got saved, I'm saved, but my boyfriend is still in my spirit. And the Holy Ghost and him couldn't live in there. <laughs> if it's the Holy Ghost, it's got to be the Holy Ghost. And if it's the boyfriend, it got to be the boyfriend. The boyfriend would never live in there. And I know I'm having problems with my spirit, Sister Rose. Because the boyfriend is trying to overpower the Holy Spirit. And I went to one of my church mother and I told her the feelings I was having. I said, Mother, I love God. And I also love my boyfriend. And she said, Daughter, I'm going to tell you something, you're going to hurt you. But it's either God or the boyfriend. And I tell you, I cried that night for the whole night when I when she said God had a boyfriend because I realized I have to give up the boyfriend. And the easier to give up the boyfriend than God. and 
rebellious way in us But God is depending on you as you run that you win your generation. Because you know something when you read that chapter you tell that whole generation leave out of Egypt. Never make it into the promised land. The only two that leave out of Egypt that make it into God's rest are into the promised land of Joshua and Caleb. All the others that went into were born in the wilderness. Lost a generation in Egypt that came out of Egypt. And let me tell you something, there's a generation in Egypt tonight that you and I have to go for. My heart yearning for the young girls. My heart yearning for the young boys. Our children are dying on the street and they are going without any help. Oh, will we have a heart of compassion for them? Can we have compassion for God? Can we have passion for God and compassion for those that are lost? Is there anything that we can do to help our boys and our girls? There is something all of us can do. All of us owe it to ourselves and to God to do what he asks us to do. He said, looking unto Jesus, the order of Israel faith, who for the, the joy that was set before him. You, you know what I like? The joy. There was no joy in the Roman cross. There was no joy in hanging on the Roman cross. No. There was shame. Yes. Yes. Curse is everyone that hung on the tree. And Jesus took our curse. When he took our curse and our sin, he called it joy. Joy. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Try to separate you 
Be faithful to God, young people. Be faithful to God. Be faithful to God. Be faithful at school. Be faithful on the street. Be faithful on the netball field. Be faithful in university. Be faithful to God. Consider Him. Look at the things He has been through for us. Be faithful. He is your example. You can follow Him. You think Jesus didn't have any temptation? What if He didn't have any temptation? Was Jesus tempted? Yes. Any time at all? Yes. Really? Yes. How Jesus was tempted? Yes. And what did He do when He was tempted? He was? He overcame. The devil tempted Him and said, You know, if you be the Son of God, let all these stones and make bread. And you know what He did? He used the word. He and that's why we need to study the word. Amen. Study the word, young people. Study the word. The word. God's word is a light to our path. It's a lamp to our feet and it's a light to our path. It's get wisdom. It gives understanding. It gives light, illumination, and it gives direction. Yes. Hallelujah. God's word. Young people, keep God's word in your heart. This may not be a fiery sermon that all keep you swaying from side to side tonight. But I did not come here to sway you tonight. We have to talk facts. This is where the rubber hit the road, church. This is where we know how to wise up and help all your people. And mothers in Zion, we need some praying mothers. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about prayer meeting. No, no. I'm not talking about prayer meeting where we come and spend the 15 minutes and we're tired already. I'm talking about getting down before God in our face and pray for our young people. As they move from place to place, we pray for them. Get their names and put it on, on the paper and spread it out. Did you miss? Write the name and spread it out before God. Spread it out on the altar. And if you don't know the names of some, just say, Lord, this one in Crichton. You write the communities and you write the different districts and you spread it out before God. You spread out Lambert Barrow. You spread out Crichton Barrow. You spread out all the barrows before God. And ask God that God will direct and lead and save and heal and Bless your son. God bless you. 
there's a bad word that we need to And it's only Jesus Christ can deliver, can help, and can save Jesus. Every young person there that is not saved, I'm going to give you the same ones later. But all the ones up there that are not saved, come. All the people that are not saved, come. The knife, the guns, the illicit sex, the drugs, the boots, the clubs. And, 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 and you know some of the, the things that we are having is that some of our young church people, some of our young church people, some of our young church people, we need to have a one-to-one -one with them. Church, don't forget to talk to young people about facts of life. No, please. Don't, don't, don't forget to talk to young people about facts of life. Have a youth church. We meet in church together and we sing and rejoice. And when they don't find that person or those persons, how are you going to feel? Think about your feeling of I think if it's going to be a sad time by not seeing our loved ones in heaven, or our loved ones not going to see us in heaven. What about in this life? Our loved ones who are not making the necessary preparation. Shouldn't it be a burden to us? Shouldn't it be a sad time for us? We've had a week of meetings and we've heard great preachings and teachings. And it could never be clearer about the necessity of regenerated heart. But those who have not been regenerated, if Christ should come, what then? What would you say to him? And therefore tonight, at the close of this convention, I would like to further give an invitation to all those who have not yet committed your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. In order that we may not be breathing in heaven about you being left here on earth we would like to pray with you the Bible says that the effectual and the requirement prayer of the righteous man it goes a long way it is very weighty it does the job. And as we're here tonight as Christians and we know the joy of salvation, we know the terror of hell according to the Bible. All these wonderful people that we are acquainted with, are we burdened about them? Are we sad that we have gone through a week of meeting and no one has said, I give my life to Christ. I will make a decision concerning all the messages that God has sent. Have they fallen on deaf ears? What has it done to your heart? Has the word of God touched your heart? Have you 
you see the necessity of committing your life to the Lord Jesus Christ before it is too late. Don't say, I am young. I have not yet enjoyed life. It will be a joy to see sinner come home to Christ. The right to say, I was once a sinner. But I found pardon for my Lord. It was freely given. And I found that my name was written down. There's a new name. Written down in glory. A white robe angel sang the story. Sinner has come on. Can you just imagine the angels in heaven looking down on this day congregation? Knowing all the persons in this place who have not experienced the regenerated power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And is waiting to welcome you all. The Bible says there is rejoicing in heaven. Over one soul represented. That 90 and 9 just persons. One person woke up to this altar and make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's more important to God at that particular time than all those who have been saved already. Not that you're not important, but there's tribulation in heaven. Rejoicing in heaven. You can let heaven rise up. Glorify God. Sinner has come home. We are up to him today. Let us pray for you. Disregard all those who may be looking on. Disregard what others may say. Make a decision for Christ. He made a great one for you. And you can in turn say, Lord, I thank you for dying for us. Would you come tonight? Let us pray for you. Stand and we are going to say that.
to the invitation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you. It is not a lukewarm wondering what is going to happen. Thank you. Something tells me that the man was speaking the truth. I would know that his prophecy wasn't impossible. But nevertheless, charge is love. Without love, we cannot get in everything. That's right. Prophecy, tongues may fail. Prophecy may fail, but when we have love, it never fails. And I know that God loves me in a way that he gave his own son for me to redeem me from sin. And I'm praying to God that he will never keep me for the rest of my days, that I will live from sin and live to peace for the rest of my days. And I'm asking you, brethren, to pray for me as I do this evening. Power. I was reading the scripture 
um, some time ago, just a couple days ago. And there's a section in Isaiah that the Lord that God said, He have made evil. God have made evil. And the scripture knows that everything that we see is made by God. Whether power or principality or anything that you can think of, it is made by God. Yes, and while I was meditating on that part of scripture, my conclusion that the evil that God made is envy. I believe that that is the evil that God made. For when you look at envy, is in everything. 99% or more of the murder that is committed is because of envy. Everything that you can think of is envy. When 